What's up guys, Bull by the Fell Handed here, bringing you another World of Tanks video. Here we are in the German Tier 6 3001P VK. Now, big ups to Tristan Horner for winning the $10 subway card. Tristan, holla at your boy. Post your gamer tag below. Or message me on XBL. Either way, I need to get this subway card up inside you. Post motherfucking haste. Big shout out to Modem Blaze. He sent me a message and told me I was a real motherfucking G. Now, moving on. Here we are in this tank. This is a decent fucking tank. Very good. Now, the downside of this situation is we are in here with tier 8s. Which are fucking monsters compared to this tank. This tank can do well if left to its own devices. If it's going up against tanks two tiers higher, like most tanks, it's not going to do too well. So in this video, I'm not going to do very good. I'm going to show up, but little else than that. If you'll notice, as soon as I looked into the, uh, the force disposition there, I immediately loaded hatchets. I said, you know what? If there's tier 8s in here, I'm loading motherfucking hatchets because I'm not going to have much chance to penetrate anything aside from that. That's a, that's a pretty waterfall. So here I am on top of this hill. Get detected rather early. Don't have six cents. No skills to speak of. E25, of course, next to me does not get spotted. At this point, I kind of decided, I, you know, I would do the bitch thing. I would wait until the troops moving to our left there, we've got quite a column moving to our left, my left, would detect anything or something, and then I would pull up and I would start taking shots. It's quickly evident here uh, that, you know, I'm not going to be able to nail any shots. So I decided to go ahead and move along with the column. Turns out to be a mistake. This tank cannot hang with tier 8s in frontline combat. You know, you try, you just can't do it. Unless you get lucky. You know, I would always preach camping if you're two tiers down. In this situation, it's not going to be possible because you're not going to have any shots on anything. So, round in the corner here, there is just a shitstorm up here. There's, you know, they've, they've got the high ground. They're in a good position. There's also some down low. Decide to sneak behind this Carnivon and see if I can't pull a shot in. Um, we've got a, a rush Russian tank right there, as well as Jackson putting fire on me. Um, we've got a T-28 prot up on the hill there. Um, there's a, a T-37 to my right, and a couple of Jacksons directly ahead. Um, not a super accurate gun. That's about all you can expect. Um, you know, I'm, I think the accuracy is .40 if not slightly less, end up taking down a Jackson. Um, they have an excellent position. They're trying to make inroads into our right-hand side here of this combat, the right flank. Um, the, the T-28 prot, even against my hatchets, is, is more or less invincible. I can't get a good shot at his machine gun port. I can't hit his turret. Um, I'm just, I'm not having a lot of luck here. I'm putting rounds. I can't really see the, uh, the 3001 there. Uh, mainly all I can see is the prot. He's just sitting there and just busting. Can't get a good shot in. No hatchets. Nothing's working. Uh, I'm taking rounds actively at this time. Uh, the game at this point is not going good for me. I decide to go up here and push up with this 45A and see what else I can do. For some reason, my tank gets fucking stuck here. I have no idea why. Oh, it's a slight grade. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. So, slight grade will completely fuck your tank. Put a round in this guy right here. I'm loading up. I'm going to finish him. Um, we've got the 45As doing work. 30 uh, T-37 right here. Go ahead and put one in him. So, we're, we're making some inroads here. We're making some progress. We're shutting some things down. We're doing well, um, or at least well for a, a tank two tiers lower. You know, and you can't expect miracles if you're going to be, you know, bottom tier. You know, if you're fighting a bunch of thin-skinned tanks, in other words, if you're in, say, a Tiger II fighting a bunch of Leopards, STBs, Bat Chats, 
Yeah, you're gonna make some shit happen. You know, assuming you can hit them. But in this game, it's, it's a little bit different story. They've got superior position, they've got strong armor. There's not really too, too much I can do. Now, if you'll notice these two TDs near our base, they kind of just let them cap it out. I, you know, I hate to spoil it for you. They kind of just let them take it. Uh, I don't believe they contested it all. Which is odd, considering they could have drove down the hill. But you know what? It's neither here nor there. You win some games, you lose some. Try not to get too pissed off. T28 directly above to my 12 o'clock position here. Not really a lot of cover. I'm kind of paranoid. I pop out to take a shot at the T28. Turns out to be a mistake because he returns fire and kills me. He might as well be in a T95. Honestly, that's the chance. I was at a higher angle firing down on him um, at his lower plate, which is weaker to begin with, with hatchets. And it was just all yellow uh, you know so what are you gonna do you know sometimes you go out there you can't do anything um, if you're in a lower tier match or, or if you're in a lower tier tank in a higher tier match there's only so much you could do don't take it out on yourself you know just do the best you can and move on the game's not always gonna throw you to the wolves but sometimes yeah you're gonna get thrown to the fucking wolves and here's the part where we're like Dude, why are you letting them cap? You're letting them cap it out. And the guys on the hill are just like, nope, not going down there. So, you're going to have teammates like that. Uh, I don't know why, but you're going to have teammates like that. You have to just deal with it. Move on. That's all I have for you guys today. Tristan Horner, winner of the 100th subscriber. $10 Subway card. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, like my videos, and share my shit.